a Boom Alley video. As you know, 3D technology is coming to us at breakneck speeds. You know, they're saying that we're going to have 3D television in our homes this year. And the biggest movie of the year, well, maybe the biggest movie of all time, Avatar, is also in 3D. So, in an effort to stay on the cutting edge, this week's video is being brought to you with an exclusive Boomer Alley 3D technology where I wear the glasses, but you get to enjoy the 3D at home. That's right, you get the thrill of 3D without feeling nauseous like you do at the movies. Oh. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Now, as you know, this Sunday is Valentine's Day. Whoa, dude, it's like coming right at us. Anyway, Avatar is a beautiful love story, one that you've never seen before. Uh, you know, unless you saw Disney's Pocahontas, in which case, they're exactly the same. You know, in the Disney cartoon, John Smith was the white guy who was in love with the Indian princess Pocahontas, whose father, Pohatawan, wasn't crazy about John John, but eventually comes around to realize that whitey is okay. Now, in Avatar, John Sully is the white guy who is crazy crazy about Neytiri, the Navi chick from the planet Pandora, and her father, um, Tonto? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. To tell you the truth, it's a pretty long movie, and I slept for a little bit. Anyway, he's ready to kill the kid from Earth until Neytiri convinces Daddy Deer that John isn't like the other boys from Earth. He's really cute. It's all very, uh, valentine -y. This is like coming right through your computer, isn't it? Anyway, the reason that Sully and the other Earthlings go to Pandora is to rape and pillage the land looking for a very valuable mineral in this very light-handed ecological tale of genocide and greed. Now, the valuable mineral is called unobtainium. Great name, huh? It's like, why didn't they just call it, uh, we can't come up with anything betterum or, uh, or flubber? But the important thing to remember is that this is a love story that we're seeing on the week of Valentine's Day. You know, if this isn't working for you, you may need a special adapter. Uh-oh, 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 now I'm getting a little nauseous. Anyway, the reason I wanted to talk about Avatar on Valentine's Day is because they are kind of similar. I mean, if you can get past the three-dimensional effects of the movie and the one-dimensional villains, then Avatar really is a very beautiful movie, and it's about love. And so is Valentine's Day. And in this Valentine's Day, if you're hoping to get some rare mineral, you know, like a diamond in this economy, well, you know, talk about unobtainium. You know, just remember, the Navi didn't care that they were sitting on top of a fortune. They just felt very connected to their planet. And they loved life and loved each other. And they didn't watch Fox News or MSNBC, so they all pretty much got along. And that's what we should be focused on this Valentine's Day. It's not about flowers or candy and cards. It's about love. So this Valentine's Day, well, and every day, let somebody know their love. It'll make you both feel great. Visit us on Facebook and get in on the discussion. And happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'm Mark at Boomerally.com. It's Boomer Alley, love.